What's going on, people? Welcome to the Gone Out family. It is time for evolution. So, in today's video, I'm going to be uh, explaining character design inspirations and, re and reviewing spirit and, and demon designs from various different uh, artworks and series, from uh, you know, from series to uh, uh, Princess Mononoke, Legend of Zelda, uh, the Berserk mangas, uh, mangas, uh, demons, de demon designs, and. And also like the, the, uh, the 72 demons of, of Solomon that are based on alleged real demons alleged and so and, and much much more and so you know perhaps after, after this video you'll learn to uh, understand some of the techniques that I personally uh, use for my spirit uh, demon or, or monster designs and so this is the Kodama so this is from a, uh, a spirit from Japanese uh, folklore. You may have seen this before in uh, Princess Mononoke, the movie from uh, Studio uh, Ghibli. And so you can see how the, they have a very simplistic design. They have this innocence to them, this childlike innocence to them, you know? And with that childlike innocence and that simplistic design, it makes it easier for the audience or just people in general to like remember them more. Because there's not much going on, not much detail going on. And the fact that there's less detail and it's simple, it makes it easier for, uh, for people to remember. And it also portrays to, to us that they have this innocence, this, this, this kindness uh, to them. You know, when you're so, so keep that in mind whenever you're like designing or positive or, or good spirits. And you know you don't always have to like this isn't a role you could you could also you know you could just break break anything you could break the rules if you want to but uh, this isn't a rule or anything this is just a uh, this is just a preference my personal preference when I'm designing a uh, kind of positive uh, looking spirit and so let's let's look at this for example this is also a, uh, a creature from uh, Princess Mononoke uh, you can see uh, how it does look beautiful yes but you can see how in a, in its design it doesn't look scary per se like uh for example these tentacles that are coming out of the creature's uh, arm and, and the back head of that creature or the back neck of that creature those tentacles they don't look sharp instead they give this they give this uh, element of they get they give this element of a peace you know for, and the reason why is because like the ends of it they don't look as sharp as an arrow it doesn't it doesn't look threatening they look very you know it looks very loose again it has that uh, it has that uh, it has that curvature around it and with curvature you know for humans is when you, when you see curvature you are you're feeling relaxed you know it feels like you're in a relaxed environment when you see uh, curved areas or if you're in a home that's uh if you're in a home that's there's a lot of angular structure to it it feels stress you you will feel stress uh but if you're in a location that has a curvature or curves to it then you're more prone to become uh, you know, to become relaxed as opposed to being in a uh, in a uh, location with a bunch of uh, angles and structure you know this is why nature is also a relaxing place. It doesn't have as much, uh, it doesn't have as much uh, angles to it as opposed to if you were to like look at buildings with their structure to it. So this is why uh, this being a very curved uh, end to its tentacles, it, it just makes it, it just gives the, the vibe of, uh, of re relaxation. So this is one of the dark spirits from Legend of Korra and you can see how uh, in this design, it has more of a sharpness to it. Now, this sharpness can be seen on a subconscious level as something that is threatening because sharpness looks like, you know, a knife. You know, it, it just it looks like it could pierce something when it's sharp, you know, as opposed to something that's more curved. It, it, it feels it just feels loose, more loose, like like water, you know. So, so, so seeing a beast like this, maybe you would be frightened. I don't know, but uh, seeing a beast like this, I, I would, I would, I would think that it would be uh, a calming experience when you're around it. Uh, this is actually a creature that's also based on the same uh, Japanese folklore, 
but it's just a it's just a different design they don't look like the kodamas you know so these are like the tree spirits from uh, from the legend of zelda and and you can see they look very again they look innocent they look fun they look they look childlike you know, this is innocence, and with this simplistic design, the spirits are more memorable. You know, so they look childlike. Uh, there's innocence to them, and and, and etc. So if we were to, if we were to go to my own, you know, design, you can see how that there's this uh, again this childlike uh, innocence that I uh, implemented within this uh, this design. And we'll go. We'll come back here uh, 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 later on, but you can see there's this uh, there's this simplicity that that's uh, that's happening, and with the simplicity, it becomes more memorable to remember uh, these uh, these kinds of designs, you know. And so this is also a uh, this is also from the Legend of Korra, as well. These are the spirits from Legend of Korra, and you can see how simplistic they look. Again, you know. So they look simplistic, but anyway, we're, we're gonna move on to the uh, the spirited away. So we're, we'll come here. This is uh, No Face. I guess he he's like the, the the second antagonist, the secondary antagonist in, in spirited in spirited away. And so you can see this this form this form that he takes. It's like a uh, this is a, a very simple simplistic form for for a spirit. But then when it transforms, it becomes, it turns into this, this creature. And so, yeah, it, it turns into this creature. And so, uh, this design. And so, when, when, it, when it comes, we're, we'll get into like uh, demon type designs later on in this video. But what we're seeing right here is like, it kind of looks like a, when, when you're designing a demon, it looks like a mixture of genetic splicing. As if you're, you're a mad scientist and you're combining different, uh, genetic material to create uh, something new like a like a Frankenstein and so these are the, the 72 demons of Solomon and so from here on out things are gonna start to get uh, graphic when I start to talk about the demon designs or spooky but uh, but yeah um, so when it comes to when it comes to uh, to demon designs or demon yeah demons up they have a, a mixture of uh, as I said before, a ge ge this genetic splicing that's happening. So you can see uh, these uh, genetic splicing of like animal in the animal world, like a mixture of uh, of animal and human. You know. So for example, you see this this fish-looking creature with human arms, a fish-looking creature creature with human arms and a sword. Right. You see this uh, this bird mermaid a bird mermaid looking creature um you see this uh this troll with a cat combination and spider legs and you see a lion with several human feet okay so this is also my own demon type design uh so this this creature is like a combination of a whale and a human so it, it does have human arms so and this whale and, and it ha yeah it has a whale and it has like a this face that's like protruding underneath the uh the uh, the, the chin of that whale and it has this egg sac that's on at, at the tummy of, of the, at, at the stomach <coughs> of the whale right and so you can see how this whale, uh, again, I'm using similar to how how in spirited in spirited in spirited away, one of the characteristics of, of No Face when he did the uh, the transformation. Uh, let me see. Yeah, one of the characteristics of No Face when he did the transformation was uh, was gluttony, you know, and so that was part of the uh, the seven deadly sins that uh, yeah that was part of seven deadly sins so for me I did something that was related to uh, to pride right so no face was gluttony so for this design or this depiction of this creature uh, for this design 
Now, this is more so of pride. This, this creature is like a cocky, confident, kind of overconfident uh, kind of uh, persona that's going on. Like, you could just get those overconfident vibes from that smile, you know? And, and there's also some, uh, there's a, a bit, a bit of a gluttony, but it's not really shown here. It's, it's, it's shown in like the, the first page of, of Father Nature or so. But here you can just see this, uh, this prideful, uh, cocky uh, appearance that is, that, is, uh, that is shown in this, uh, in this character, you know? Okay. And so this is this is from Shinigami Tensei, their demon design. I really love their demon designs. And so this this demon design is like a uh, um, this looks like a uh, you know this obviously looks like the, the Mount of Venus, the female private part. You know, you you, you can you can and and, and it has a, a mixture of uh, uh, it's like a man with a uh, with the Mount of Venus below him. And the mouth of Venus has like a, has like a mouth and a tongue protruding out of it, so it's like some kind of parasite going on there. And so you, you can you can you can see this as uh, as this person or the person that designed it. Uh, it's like a it's like showing lust in a sense, but not exactly. This one is uh, this one is uh definitely inspired by one of the, the 70 uh two uh, demons of solomon which is a bow yeah so bow is located right here with his uh with his claw uh, with his spider legs and his three heads right here this is definitely uh, this one is definitely inspired by bow uh right here this is like a uh this is, you probably know what this is. This is like a, uh, a phallus with, with arms and tentacles and like, uh, and the, 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 the bottom portion is like riding on a chariot, which is interesting, really a creative design they got going on there, you know? And the, and this one, this one, this one is actually, you know, you know, love it or hate it, this, this is this one is actually very, very. Uh, this is very, very uh, deep. You know, it's, it's like it's like for example, it's like you know, horn. This is a horn, right? At the same time, this looks like a, a phallus. And when and when a phallus is erect, we say horny. And so when you when you combine horny and horns, you get the horn. So this is like this is like a demon horn, but it's but it's horny. But it's like. It is, it's genius. It's genius. It's genius. When we come here, this is also some one of my favorite designs right here. This is a Ivan from Berserk the Apostle. Um, so right here, you can you can see again. This is like a genetic splicing going on. You know, you're you're Frankensteining your demon type designs, right? With this genetic splicing, um, you can see that this the, the top portion of this uh, humanoid figure is on the back end of this uh this deer looking creature now so there's so much that, that has gone on to, with this design so much that I'm, that I'm seeing with this design you know and uh like for example if you all right so so for example let's say that you you didn't see the com the complete body of this creature you know of ivan uh ivan's uh, apostle transformation you know from berserk let's say you didn't see the complete body of this creature right and like these this would be his, his upper part of his body this would be his uh, lower part of his body and this would be like a kind of like a phallus uh design here right and so when you when you reveal when you reveal this you start to see this uh this deer type creature and at the same time it's like there's so much going on that even this deer this deer like creature uh looks like a uh like this looks like the, the top part the, the mane of this deer looks like the top part of the phallus if you remove the uh the arm and the the head this looks like the the top part of the phallus so yeah for for for, for Warhammer 4k these designs they look they're not they're they are they're, they're they are 
kind of like a demon type design and at the same time they they look demon type design in terms of like the genetic splicing of it you know but you, but you don't see a combination of human and animals with the uh, the chaos bomb what it looks like to me what they look like to me is like a combination of like like human and and insects human insect parasite combinations you know human insect parasite uh crustacean bug like creatures that's what it, that's what it, that's what they uh that's what the design looks like because you can see that that crab arm going on here they look like these you know they look like uh the scavengers they look like you know you know bugs or bug like scavengers you like you know how insects you know um you know bugs cockroaches the scavengers the scavengers of, of land you know uh for 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 or for for the sea for the sea crabs shrimps they are they are scavengers of the of the sea and uh and it also reminds me of uh the a uh, parasite you know it reminds me of you know parasite combination so it, it reminds me of a scavenger like a bug like scavenger mixed with paras parasites and and uh and um and human you know human dna you know and again you're playing you're playing frankenstein with this you know when you're designing whenever you are designing uh, uh demon type creatures and so from this design of Pachamama from Oscar, I wanted to, to explain one of my inspirations for this design. You know, one of them being Turtle Island. As you can see, there's like this, uh, there's a, there's like a forest on the back of, of Pachamama. And it's also, since it's also Mother Nature based, you know, Mother Nature, there's no, this, this creature doesn't have a, a, a gender. But it does have feminine characteristics in terms of its simplicity and the curves and also the bush down there. So about some of the uh, the inspirations for you know for Pachamama, we're going to come here and like so Turtle Island. So these are all the inspirations. So I'm going to focus on 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 one of them. So Turtle Island is uh, what the North the Native Americans called North America and then Central America. You know, they called it uh, Turtle Island because they believed that it was a, it was like a, a they they were living on top of a of a turtle, right? So, you know, that's one of the one of the or that's that's the original source, right? But you can see how this has been uh, played out and inspired by uh, many multiple different uh, sources, like many different sources have been inspired by by Turtle Island, right? So the lion turtle from Avatar, the, the turtle that gifted the four elements, this is also inspired by Turtle Island, uh, and also you can just see how, you know, people who, there are people that have lived on tur on on the lion turtle from Avatar. Uh, here's the the Zoark, the Zoark or Oda or the or the author of One Piece. He he took creative liberties and he didn't make it a a turtle, but instead he made it a elephant. So it does have uh, some inspirations from from Turtle Island, but uh, this civilization that's on top of this this elephant, you know, is actually it, it is inspired by Turtle Island, and also I guess it also has a uh, has a mixture has a mixture of an actual you know there is a mountain that looks like an elephant, you know, so he he could have also took inspiration from from that and also you could have taken inspiration from turtle island and and, and combined them and so this is torterra torterra tartar tar, 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 is from pokemon right and so torterra again it has kind of like a force on on its back although it's very it's very uh small you know this is this is the actual design it's a very small creature you know i've seen some some fan art that does depict it that, that, that does depict Torterra uh, more closely uh, related to uh, Turtle Island, you know, from the Native American uh, uh, folk, folk folklore, right? And so, <clears throat> moving on, this is also from Pokemon. Uh, 
this you can, you can also say it, it, it has influences of of Turtle Island, but instead it's it's like Snorlax with an island somewhat on his on his belly. You know, it's like Snorlax with an island on his belly, belly as opposed to it being on its back. You know, and so these are some of the 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 inspirations that I that I've seen when it comes to to Turtle Island. And so yeah, that will be the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. You feel free to leave a, com a like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think about the video, and peace.